too bright. Okay, good morning, everybody. Cleta and Maureen here, the dynamic duo. <laughs> and we are, Maureen came up with a, um, do you feel like we're having an echo here? I don't hear it, but you know what? Let me. Okay. Huh. All right. But I, I need you to be on here with us. Anyway, um, if you guys are watching, be sure to chat. We'd love to see your comments on here. Um, Maureen came up with this look called Sweet Champagne. And this is in a book from Luis Costco called Unfiltered. And it's from a couple years ago. But we are going to attempt... <laughs> Maureen and I are going to attempt to look beautiful like, you know, this lady right here looks. <laughs> I doubt we'll look exactly like that. But anyway, and so Maureen, why don't I let you take it over and you can walk us through foundation. Let me just tell you what she's doing and what I'm going to do. And, and she can walk you through that. One of the things that I did do this morning is I tried to do my little uh, instant, instant puffiness reducer. So I want to tell y'all something that I, a trick, which I don't know. Someone told me that, well, and I was feeling like I was a little, still a little dry under my eyes. So I put a little bit of this, this oil-free hydrating gel, and I put it under my eyes and let it dry first. And then I did the puffer. I don't know. It's a little crusty. Don't do that. <laughs> After saying it, it's probably not a good idea. We won't worry about it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my concealers while she's talking about her CC cream. I'm going to be doing my concealers, the under eye corrector under my eyes, and then because some concealers in some of the other places. And then I'm going to put on the silky setting powder in light beige. She's going to use the CC cream. So as she's talking, you can watch me do that. And um, I'm going to throw on some eye primer too. So go ahead, Maureen. All right. Okay. Super cool. And you know what I'm going to do while you're doing the next thing, I'm going to find some earplugs because when I put in earplugs to the computer, then we can both be on. Okay. I don't see it. Huh? It is a little bit for some reason. I don't know why. It don't it's sound like you're right. I don't so hear you. Me. You're me. So, okay. You go oh, ahead. Oh, okay. So I just went ahead and did my eye primer real quick, but there, that's done. So let's see how easy that is. So I've got my CC cream that I'm going to put on. I already put on my foundation primer and I got my super cool foundation brush that, you know, probably needs a little washing, but you know, we do what we can do. So I just kind of get the CC cream on my brush and then I just pat it on all over. I love the CC cream. CC, which I didn't know until it came out, means complexion corrector. So we only have five shades in it. I use Casper White. <laughs> Actually, it's called Very Light. <laughs> um, but there's only five shades. And what's cool about that is that I could probably pick your shade within two, you know. So I'd send you two samples and then you'd find the one that you love. So I love it because it still shows my freckles. It's light, easy, breezy foundation. And um, it gives great coverage. Plus, it's like moisturizing. It's concealing. And it's buildable. So I love that. And it looks good on you. Well, thank you, Casper I'm White Girl. <laughs> well, she's from Michigan. I'm from South Georgia. So I <laughs> use the medium to deep all year long. <laughs> medium to deep. <laughs> but, well, sometimes I put a little bit of light, uh, light to medium. But in the summer, for sure, medium to deep. That's what so I use I'm, in my legs when I'm tanning. <laughs> yeah, there you go. So I'm using the under eye corrector first. And then this is a perfecting concealer in deep ivory. And I'm just going to put a little bit right through here. And we have already washed our face. We've already put foundation primer on. I've got a little issue there. Of course, right when you're going to do a video, you're going to have a little something. <laughs> and I'm going to put these bangs back just a little bit so that... uh so that I won't have to be messing with them the whole time and irritate my my many followers. Hello, LOL. <laughs> I don't like this look. I can tell you right now, the Lord meant the Lord meant for me to have bangs. <laughs> so funny. Stop um, it, Cleta. Your forehead is gorgeous. <laughs> That's because you have a low one. Um, <laughs> this is a. Uh, so I just put this right up here. 
if you have any kind of little wrinkles, sometimes they show a little fold, you know, and so I don't worry about the ones on my forehead because you're not going to see them, but, but right through here, I get a little bit red and it just highlights those a little bit. And I love the cream concealer brush to do that with as well. Okay, so I am echoing. I'm gonna, let me mute myself. But you know what, Cleta, I had a quick question while we're doing this. Go ahead. So, you know, sometimes I put my makeup on one way and then other times I put my makeup on another way. And first up, maybe I do my eyes and then I do my foundation or maybe I do my foundation and my eyes. Do you just do it always one way or do you sometimes do it different ways too? Yeah. If I'm by myself and not live like this, I usually don't put my foundation on till the end because sometimes like, especially if you're using dark colors, like we're fixing to do, you know, sometimes it's not fallout like the cheap stuff, but Sometimes I do have a little fallout and then it messes up what you did. So, yeah. So, but today we'll just, we've already done it. So we're going to commit to it. So I'm going to go ahead while she's doing her concealer. I'm going to go ahead. This is the light beige silky setting powder. And I'm just going to shake it. And I'm going to use this as my foundation today. So what I do is I just put it like this and then... I'm going to use the old mineral foundation brush. Um, <laughs> I don't even think we sell it anymore. You could use the big fluffy brush, but I'm using this one for today. So I'm just like, I put some on it like this. Then I tap some off. And then I just smooth it on. That's how I do it. And I just like wearing this for the summer. If I need more coverage, I will go ahead and do the matte foundation and then put a little of the, the, this on top of it. Hey, Molly. <laughs> yeah, sorry. <laughs> Good to see you, girl. This is Maureen's daughter, her beautiful daughter. You know, I've become Aunt Cleta all to all my friends' children, if I ever get to meet them anyway. <laughs> so I'm just this on. I'm, put, I'm not putting a whole lot right there because I, because I kind of want it lighter and I'm gonna, I'm gonna put the translucent powder right there. So I'm just making sure I get a pretty good coverage with this. The silky setting powder is not necessarily designed to be foundation. It's designed to be a setting powder after you do your stuff. But if you don't have, if your skin is not too discolored, you know, and you feel like, you know, you don't have too many, if you have pretty much even toned skin, you can get by with it. How's that echo? Is that better? Yes. Okay. Better. And she says, tell Cleta I love her. Oh, love her. Love okay. Her. So I've got my foundation and my concealer on. And so we'll wait for, let me, I'm, I'm going to read. Okay. I'm going to read a little bit of this to you. So the first thing we're going to kind of go in order of the sheet. So Maureen, the first thing it says is for the brows. It says, use a precision brow pencil to fill in any gaps in your eyebrows, then use a spoolie brush, Mary Kay, um, to follow with eyebrow gel or like the tint to brush them into place. Okay, so I like to just brush mine up first. And as y'all can kind of see, for whatever reason, this eyebrow is darker than this eyebrow. And this eyebrow is higher than this eyebrow. Because <laughs> brows are sisters, but they're not twin sisters. Okay. I saw this filter just recently. I didn't do it on myself, but it said what you would look like if your face was symmetrical. Ooh. And it's a totally different person because each side of our face is different. So what I do, if you have brows like mine, like what I'm going to do, see on this side, I'm going to try to go above my brow line a little bit to make that a little more even and to get these a little bit darker. So, you know, they'll match. Maureen has better brows than me. So she can talk about brows while I, while I, while I do. Over here. So, well, you know what? I got some brows that will poke your eye out if you get too close to me. So when I trim them, I have to be careful. So I, 
have a pretty good uh, base going. So all I'm doing right now is filling in because eyebrows are like our frame to our face. So I don't have to go outside of my brow uh, line like Cleta's going to do to to even hers up. I just got to fill it in. And I like to use the brunette on my eyebrows. And then I actually will use the dark blonde brow tint. I don't know if that's right or not, but I like the way it looks because it looks like it isn't drawn on. So it gives it a little bit of depth or yeah. I do the same. So look at this. This was my brow that was lower. And you see oh, how yeah. I got it back up there? Isn't so, that something? Yeah. So now I gotta do the other eye. I do the same thing, Maureen. I'm using brunette and then um I'm using brunette and then I'm gonna do the dark blonde brow tint. Oh, and so you do the same I thing. Do, I think it looks really good. Our brunette actually has a little red in it of the brow tint. So it's no good if you're, if you don't have red in your hair, but if you do, if you're, if you're Auburn, or if you got a little red in your hair, that brunette um, brow tint is really nice. But some of my, like you would think you'd get brunette pencil and brunette brow tint, but not so much. And so some of my customers are like, uh, I don't know about this. So then they switched to the dark brunette and it was perfect. Yeah. So if your hair is black and you want to just stay with that, or maybe you're not even using pencil. You're just using that. You might want to go with the dark brunette. Yeah. And really the dark blonde eyebrow pencil, it has a little bit of, it has a little bit of red tint to it as well. Yeah. It just all, it all, you just got to mess with it. You know, that's why I think that, um, meeting up with your consultant one-on-one, -on -one, you do a little eyebrow appointment and you get to try them all, right? Yeah. Now this one does seem a little higher than this one now. So I'm going to have to... <laughs> Maybe I raised the wrong one. No, yeah, I think, no, that was the one that was already higher. So what I usually do is I'm going to sit here and I'm going to brush these brows up a little bit. Uh-huh. Like this. And then I'm going to take a Q-tip and fix it. I know I'm getting it all over the place. Oh, listen, that is my... That is my, I love my Q-tips. Right. Love my Q-tips. But I think I, I think I about fixed it. All right, cool. Somewhat anyway. Now I'm looking at these eyeshadows, golden mauve, gold status, hot fudge. So I'm going to have to, for my Casper self, I'm going to have to throw some blossom in there somewhere because okay. otherwise, otherwise it's going to look too much. Okay. Okay. Too much. Mine are about as even as they can be for today. So we're going <laughs> to call that done. <laughs> okay. So the next instructions say, yes, yes. we're just taking y'all through it just like us. Yeah. Okay, Melanie and Diane, thank y'all for joining us. Um, it says apply a wash of gold copper eyeshadow to the lids and lower lash line with an eyeshadow brush. Okay, so what we're recommending is the, um, like she said, the goal status. But if you want to do, light, you can do goal status, or are you going to do something lighter than that? You could do shade, I, right? I think I'm going to do gold status. Um, that's going on our base, right? Yeah. Yeah, and you know something else I'm going to do? I grabbed a little bit more of that eye primer. This base. is the goal status. Yeah, I'm going to do that one. I'm going to put a little bit of that eye primer right here where they said to put yeah, it under that idea. lash line. I'm not, only because I've already got that. You got all your stuff on. I got that puffy reducer, and I'm already thinking I could look cakey later because I did that. Yeah. yeah. Not too bad. Though. All right. No, not at all. Gold status. All right, here we go. That's I love gold status. I love all the... Uh, that's really pretty shimmery. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of the biscotti and put it right under my brow. Okay. I'm going to do that too. I don't too, want then. to be too sparkly right under there. Just because I don't want to. You could though. It's not going to hurt it. Then we'll put a little bit on the inside corner as well. Yeah. I do that too for that shadow. Yeah. Okay. Let me read what's next, Maureen. Okay. All says, right. With a matte brown shade eyeshadow, 
and a crease brush, outline the outer corner of the eye and blend. Um, so use a clean brush to continue blending, diffusing so the color dissipates on the edges. Finish by using a smudger blush for a light champagne shade of eyeshadow right under the brows. Well, we're going to do this. We're going <laughs> to let's do our let's do the golden mauve. OK, let's do the golden mauve in the crease. You want to? And yeah, sure. That I think that'll be pretty in the crease and maybe just a little bit above the crease. And then um, and then we can use. Yeah, thanks for showing it. And then we can do that hot fudge in the corners. All right. Got so it. The, she's already showed you the golden mauve. It's just like a, where is it right here? There, right there. Yeah. Okay, here we go. So okay. this is a crease brush. It's like angled. So just put a little bit on there. And I used to have a regular eye until now I'm in my mid fifties and my daughters keep telling me that I have a hooded eye now. So I got to get my colors up a little bit above the crease. That's right. Even though I'm in total denial of a hooded eye. <laughs> well, some people are younger and have hooded eyes even, you know, so mm -hmm. they're born with it. Well, they keep telling me, the girls are like, you are not putting your color in. I can't see it. And so, you know. I yeah, it makes a big difference. difference. You want to put it up high enough. Yeah. And you feel like you feel like it's too high. But then when you open your eyes straight up, you barely see it. So that's how exactly. you know. And don't be afraid to when you're doing this one, go all the way to the edge of your eyeshadow. You know what I okay. mean? Like, I'm not talking to you, but talking to them, but like all the way to there, because that's going to kind of widen your eyes a little bit. I love that golden mall. That's so pretty. Yeah, I like it too. And then I'm going to take my finger and blend a little bit toward the middle so it doesn't look so, and we'll use our blending brush too. Uh-huh. Okay. Yep. And then the last one, we'll grab our smudge brush that looks like this one. Yeah. Let's just use that one for the, the next color is called Hot Fudge. It's pretty dark. It is pretty dark. It's this one right here. Okay. Yeah. And so what we're going to do is we're going to just put it, um, let's just, let's just do this, Maureen. Let's just kind of look, let's just take it like right here across, across our lashes. Maybe okay. about, I don't have any on yet, but like about three fourths of the way and then come okay. up and do a little like that. Got it. Okay, let's do it. Try it. This is try, you know, do it as we go. We did not, we don't practice. <laughs> That's the good thing about color. It don't matter because it's not like you have to keep it for the rest of your life. Exactly. And oil for eye makeup remover makes it very easy to take it off and try again. That's right. Oh, yeah, that's then, pretty. According to how your eye shape is, I'm just going to come up a little higher with it. Mm, I like that. That's pretty, isn't yeah, it? That's real that's pretty. pretty. about these looks is this colors you might not normally use, you know? Oh, like 100,000%. I would have never done this. Or put these th together, these three uh -uh. colors. I wouldn't have. Nope. Nope. I usually, I'm I'm too, what do they say when you do something over and over and over again? I, 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 yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's exactly right. I do the same thing over and over again. So that's yeah. why I like these books. And, yeah. you know, our lookbook. Our lookbook comes out with two looks every oh, single yeah. time it comes out. I know, I love that. So I'm just uh, kind of taking my cotton ball, I mean, my Q-tip and... You know, just kind of uh, cleaning that up a little bit. And then yes. I'm going to take this large, our large all over blending brush. Yes. And I want to make sure I don't have anything on it. And then I'm just going to blend that out a little bit. I, these Chroma Fusion eyeshadows are so nice because they are so blendable. Hmm. We're looking good. Now, let me see which one needs to be adjusted. I think it's this one, yeah. I'm going to put a little bit. 
I'm gonna lighten that up just a little bit at the top. I feel like it's a little too much. It looks good. Is my lighting too much? I need to turn it's this a little, down. It's a little starch. <laughs> Is that better? Is that any better? Holy cow. All right, so we're going to do the um, deep brown eyeliner next. Yes. So we're just going to put some of that on. Then pull deep brown. And I love on. Yeah, it goes on so smooth. Yeah. And Maureen inspired me yesterday. I didn't do it live, but I did pictures of it, of this hot pink look and where you did not use liner, but we both look so cute. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. I agree. That's cute. <laughs> and it was a simple look too, wasn't it? Very. Super simple. And uh, I'm doing summer portfolios. I love getting different looks on different people. Yeah. So that, that what was it called? Hot pink? Hot pink. Yeah, that would be for anybody who's like, I don't wear makeup. That, yeah. You know, that would be for them. And really, when you don't use a lot of eyeliner, your lashes just look out of this world, don't they? They do. They do. And I want to... Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and curl mine. Go ahead, Maureen. Yeah. I have been wanting to play with some fakies lashes, but I am just so scared. And besides, I love the mascara. Well, I do them for seminar, but I can't do commit you? to doing them every day. So my friends Please. that do them, they look better than me, and that's okay. I'm okay with that. I like having yeah. pretty friends. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. I so I'm going to be, yeah, I'm going to be using the, today, the Lash Love. I love black. Yes. I what did pull, I did pull the uh, waterproof. Right. But it's Love Lash as well. But I got to put this primer on first. Even though we don't sell that anymore. Even though we don't sell that anymore, which makes me cry. So I'm hoarding <laughs> well, whatever I got left. Here is the, um. Here is the trick, and I heard this from maybe Lori Hogg, is just to use that waterproof mascara as your top coat, and that'll kind of, you know, you can put this on, then use that. Okay. And that makes it kind of like a primer. It makes it stay, you know. Okay. And um, you know something I heard back, oh, my goodness, 20 years ago back at our training center in Livonia? They always told us to put, if, if we're going to do the bottom lashes, to do the bottom lashes first. Yeah, I always used to do that. Yeah, obviously I'm not doing it today. <laughs> but you know well, what? That because then you look down to do the bottom, and if you have really long lashes, you get mascara up at the top. Yeah, and if you're like me and you don't usually put it at the bottom, it's better you don't. to. No, you don't I don't. Black... Well, you must have black eyelashes. Well, not really, but maybe Dark. enough. Yeah. Well, they're not blonde. They're not blonde. No, mine are blonde. I'll show yeah, you, you gotta get some. Like, get some. I don't see any. Oh yeah. So, but when I put some on there, look at the difference. Your but eyes always look so good. Okay, see the difference. I have lashes. This side yeah. lashes. This side none. No, yeah, yeah. Which I do have some, but they're just light. Yeah. Your eyes always look so good, Cleta. Girl, you're my friend. I think. <laughs> I think you look like a model. Checks in the mail, right? Yeah, I know. <laughs> I did not look like no model. Me too. I'm like, dang, every time we get on, I'm like, she, she looks so beautiful, flawless. It's God coming out of my pores. That's it. Yep. Shine the, shine the light. Shine the light. Shine the light. So I use two or three coats of mascara. Not as Me well. Too. I mean, why are we trying to hoard it? We're not. We're not. Me too. Me too. I do too. I usually, what I usually do when I do these little live things, I usually tell them, I am not going to bore you with my two and three coats. I'll finish it after I'm done. But so pretty. I love mascara. Yeah. 
Okay, so then I'm just cleaning up underneath. Yeah. And I usually do that with a dry, a dry Q-tip instead of wet, because then you don't want, you know, things smearing under there. Yeah, ditto, me too. And then I like to take the, um, this brush that was on the other end of the spoolie brush, it yeah. has a little angle. And yeah. I like to just take a little bit of, I'm just going to use, well, I'm just use that hot fudge. I don't want it dark, but I'm just going to kind of go underneath that. And it just kind of mm -hmm. salt. It just oh, underneath? Underneath, oh. right there on top of the liner. And okay. just salt that a little bit. And then I also do it on the top. Because you always have a little bit of mascara that, you know, or either I do, that you can kind of see that's on top of your liner and this just smooths it all out. Oh, gotcha. Oh, yeah, it does. Isn't that better? Yeah, it makes it look finished, like uh, buffed. Yeah. Okay. Our eyes look good, Maureen. I love this look. So beautiful. All right, so next it says to, we've already done all that, use that, do that. I want to matter of fact, it says use a dark brown eyeliner to, to tight line all around the eyes. Now, I don't do that because I have kind of sensitive eyes, but if you wanted to, what they're suggesting, Maureen, I don't know if you do it. It's where you take your liner, look, and you tight line it, you do it on the white. No, I did that in high school. I'm over it. I can't do it. It makes my eyes really water. So, matter of fact, I usually take a Q-tip and get anything that's on the top line off. So, oh. y'all can do that if you want to. You'll look as pretty as this girl. There Otherwise, you go. Me and Maureen. <laughs> we look so beautiful. That's right. That's right. Okay. Okay. We're taking this out now? Well, I'm just taking my bangs out. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Okay, so next we're going to do, um, it says use a dark brown eyeliner to top liner, smudging the liner softly at the outer corners, finish with a coat of mascara. We did that. All right, now it does call using the lip, satin lips, but I'm not going to do that right now with all this other stuff. You no. can go ahead. Maureen will show you how to do the, you want to do it or no? I, I was just going to show it. Okay, you're not doing it. We're not doing the satin lips right second. But it's, it's amazing. We're going to move on to the cheeks. <laughs> so the cheeks, um, they're calling for rosy nude cheek color and then the Latte Chroma Fusion Contour. So the rosy nude is this one right here. Okay. And then the Latte is this one right here. So we're going to take our cheek brush. Here we go. And then I like to start at the back and pat in. And then just blend. Okay. Mm -hmm. What do you do, Maureen? I do the same thing. That's what I learned when I was a brand new beauty consultant. All right. But also popular after you do that is just to take a little bit of it. And right here on the rows of your, uh, your apples of your cheek, just put a little bit there too. You do, you start at the back normally because it, you normally have the most on your brush when you first get started. And that way, if you mess up, it's more toward the back, not some big old clown face, you know? Yep. And this blends so nice, too. So nice. Yeah. And I always put a little more than I think I need because I'm going to do a little bit of translucent powder on top of it. And I do the same thing. I so love the translucent powder. And I have some of my customers are like, I don't do blush. I'm like, it's just because you don't know how. Because you do look better with blush. You do. I promise. It's true. You look better. And so then I'm going to use a little bit of this glazed highlighter. I always do. I can't not do it. It's right here. Okay. And okay. I just take my same brush and I put my finger right here. And then you just take a little bit and have it right there on the edge. And I just put it right through here. Okay. And right through here. Then I take a little bit and I put right above my brow on both sides. And it just highlights that. We're going to look so glamorous today. Oh, man. I got a graduation <laughs> party to go to. And then we're going to a concert. We're going to do the latte. So how do you do your latte, your contour? Yeah, that's where I usually pull up a Cleta video. And uh, yeah, I don't do contour. Yeah. So I'm here to learn. Come on, show well, me. I, I got it. it. 
I put it right up here on my forehead. If your forehead doesn't show, you don't need to do this. But, or if you have a higher forehead. So let me show you the difference of how, what, whatever you put dark tends to recede. So do you see how, like when you do that, you don't notice it, you know, it kind of okay. makes your face being more of an oval. So then I take a little bit and I put like right through here and then not all the way down there. You don't want to go all the way down there. That's too much. About right here, like stop where your eyes are. Okay. All right. Oh, okay. And it just gives you that look to have a little bit of, you know, contour with your cheeks. And then I like to put a little bit right here. Is that Roger? Yes, it's Roger. I'm Roger. here, plugs in. <laughs> Get the whole family down here. Yeah. Do it. Do it. Oh, okay. Then you got it there. Okay. I do. If you have any kind of little. So I can put this on my stomach. If you have any skin that doesn't know where it's supposed to be, then you yeah. just put a little contour right here. Okay. There we go. Just like that. Now you can also use contour. Like, let's say you're trying to reshape your nose or something. Okay. So my nose, I broke it at an earlier age. And this, I have like, it just kind of sticks out. You see how it's a little bit uneven. So mm. sometimes I take it and I just put a little bit right here. Okay. To kind oh. of fix that, to fix that. It's like a magic trick. Yes. There you go. So then we're going to use a little bit of translucent powder. I love this powder so much. Love so it, it looks light, but even anybody can use it. My bronze skin customer, they buy it. I mean, it doesn't show mm -hmm. up white on your face. No. So I just put it in the lid like this, take my big old all over brush and I pat it right here. I mainly concentrate through the kind of the center. When I, I pat it on kind of the center mm -hmm. and the rest of it, I don't add more. I just kind of blend it out, especially where you did that contour. Cause you definitely, according to how light you are, Casper, you don't want to go somewhere and have a big old brown spot and they go, what in the world? Right. You know, just blend that so you don't, you can't really tell. I love this stuff. It's like selfie powder, isn't it? Didn't you call that one time selfie powder? Yes, it, it is. Girl, we, we've made a transformation. Look sure. at that. <laughs> so pretty. Okay, so we're going to finish up with, we're going to finish up with our lips. So yes. Maureen, what did you decide you're doing on your lips? Honestly, I just grabbed what you said because that's I okay. use it. Medium nude and lip liner and uh, sheer illusion lip gloss. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. So we, we're both going to use medium nude. We're going to line our lips. I like to do the little V first like that. Yeah, and me then, too. And, you know, it was a long, long time before I ever used lipstick or lip liner as a beauty consultant. Really? Yeah. I was like a lips, lip gloss girl. And uh, I started using lipstick. And I'm like, oh, this is kind of nice. <laughs> and then and then everybody else loved it in my head. Right. But the lip liner is so great because you can line and then color in. Mm -hmm. And then Let's it stays. Mm. And like, just like my eyebrow, like they're a little different on each side. One of my sides of my lips is a little different. So this can fix it. Like this side mm -hmm. right here, mm -hmm. to creep. So I have to yeah. add a little bit. So we'll just color it in. And I usually leave the middle not colored in. It just gives you a little bit of a different look. Mm -hmm. That sexy mm -hmm. powder. Sexy powder. LOL. <laughs> yes. I and I love, I love this. Oh, it's like, isn't it like holographic? It's so beautiful. Oh. It just reminds me like it's a holographic color. It does. It really does. And you know what I noticed right away when they changed our lip gloss? It's like this is like a little chair for your lips. It has the exact amount of product that you need. It's like it a little does. chair. I've never thought of it that way. And then you're so smart. 
There yeah, right. <laughs> If you have little lines in your lips from being a smoker or or drinking with a straw or you just have them, okay, mm -hmm. they just per go all the time. You can yeah. take lip liner, I mean your lip primer and just I love go this. Like that. And I have to do this or little like I would say in 30 minutes I'd have lip gloss that have creeped up. So that's awesome. It just forms a seal. Then I just like after I do it, you just wipe off the edges so you're not smearing lip gloss anymore. Okay. Okay. That's gorgeous. Yeah. That's a good trick. I have to go get mine. I'm not going to run away and get it now, but I'm going to yeah. do that. If you have any trouble with lip gloss bleeding, then that's mm -hmm. what you do. So then you back away, you flush your hair, <laughs> and you go, Do I need to add or subtract? <laughs> <laughs> Or you whistle. <laughs> I think it looks pretty good. So this is our little look we did today. Yes. And we will post the colors underneath this video so that you can do them. Um, it might be a little different than what it says because they, they call for coral lip liner and sun blossom lip gloss, which is what we've had in the past. So, um, okay, let's just see what the, our little comments, some of the comments. Sherry Hollis. She says, I'm a beauty consultant. I've been watching your channel for three years. The oh, Lord Sherry. <laughs> well, hi, friend. <laughs> Terry, is, so thank you all for watching today. Um, you can tell us what you like about it. Try it on yourself and see what you think. And you can always alternate this, um, like if you want to do something a little bit different. And I was just thinking of one thing you could do. I'm going to do it real quick just to show you. Let's say you do your eyes and you're like, I feel like it's a little too dark. All you have to do is like take your brush and like, Go back to this goal status. Whoops. Hang but on. you're here. Okay. Go back to the goal status and then go to the center and just stamp it in there just like this. And it yeah. just, see how the, that looks not as dark. So I'll do the other side so I don't look. But if you ever, <laughs> you know, after you finish and you think, I just feel like I've been socked in the eye. Uh -huh. I've say that. Oh. Now yeah, that, you know what? Big difference. Yeah. That's pretty. It's pretty both ways. Yeah. So there's always ways you can make it for yourself. So, all right. Well, thank you, Maureen. Thank you. Thank uh, you. Thank you, Cleta. This is so much more fun than doing it by yourself, right? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Isn't it? Uh, yeah, I yeah. agree. So if you guys want to order any of these fantastic products, um, all you need to do is contact your Mary Kay Beauty Consultant. And of course, if you buy from me or Maureen, uh, you need to contact us. And we have, uh, my, my site is marykay.com slash Cleta. What's yours? Mine is marykay.com slash you can do it. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> How original. <laughs> I love it. Right? <laughs> Thanks, you guys. We'll talk to you soon.